Ooh, what's up everyone, my name is Nitro, and today I'm gonna be playing The Dawn of Lily. If you don't know who Lily is, he is the mascot from no uh, Noble from uh, Noble. He's one of those guys on YouTube that, uh, well, he's, he's an anime YouTuber, but I've always enjoyed playing his. Uh, uh, what did I say? What did I say play? I mean, watch his video because he's always making me laugh. I was looking for a game to play, but I, I couldn't find any good ones. I was planning on playing uh, the Steven Universe game, but I didn't find any. But enough of that. I, I, well, I, I found one, but it, it stuck. I decided not to play it, so whatever. Let's just start the, the game, okay? Uh, okay. Before everything, I want to thank everybody who helped me with the project um, for the support of the community. Oh, cool. Also, thanks to Dakota Moon and Carlita and, Aten and Athena for helping with this. Anyway, anyways, enjoy. Okay, so that's the, um, the creator. Please your, uh, choose your game mode. Though you cannot change this after you start it. You need to start a new save game to do so. Okay, let's do with a voice actress. I'm kind of curious. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm a little bit excited because considering this is Lily, Lily she's a she is freaking adorable. Also, she's a a fox girl, a mechanic fox girl. Okay. <laughs> huh? Where am I? Okay, that's adorable. Mama, what are we doing here? Whoa. My precious little darling, you have been chosen to go down to the earth. Oh, wow. <laughs> chosen? Why me? Okay, another thing I forgot to mention, uh, when I read the description, it says uh, it shows you the origin on how li Lily and Noble met, but this is all, <laughs> this is, this is all made up, just, just, just so you guys know. The human I mean, world it's not obvious. is full of people who have given up on their hopes and dreams. There are few humans left who can bring joy and laughter into their lives, reigniting what was once lost. Okay. There is one human in particular who needs your help, and as a goddess of joy, your bond with this human will determine whether or not true happiness can be returned into their lives once again. I don't understand. I'm scared, Mama. Wait, is Li Lily a little girl here? Don't fear. I will be revealed to you in due time. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what to okay, say considering his voices. Know. I still have so many questions. Mama. Oh god. <laughs> Prologue. Welcome to Earth. Oh cool. So this is gonna be... Well, this is only a demo though. Okay. Huh? As I come, come, as I come though, as I woke up from a deep sleep, st uh, stream of light fills my vision. Whoa, this is really cool. Huh? Where am I now? The cool mountain air blows through my hair with sweet, warm smell with a f with uh, <laughs> smells of wildflowers as a, as a sun tickle against my skin. Wow, this place is beautiful. There's a lot of pretty flowers around here. This place is amazing, but now what do I do? That's a good question. A cool breeze blow through me. It sure is cold. I look down at myself and realize at the Don't tell me you're naked, Lily. <laughs> Wait, <Yep>. why am <laughs> I naked? I look around all in all in all direction, but there wasn't anything but trees, flowers. And the cold distance mountain to be this alone and naked is frightening. Oh man, something must have gone wrong. Wait, is that a dog? A little dog is coming, running up t to me. Is it a? Is, is it going to attack me? Before before I could react, the dog was only a few feet away from my from my face. I withdrew as much as I could, but to my surprise, a duck started to lick my face. Okay! <laughs> okay, this is a bit awkward. The wet little kisses from with her, 
were accompanied with a uh, tickling from the dog's whiskers. <laughs> Stop it, that tickles. Why does it just sound like a little girl? The ener energetic little dog just keeps licking my face and the dog stop and backs up, back, and backs up from me a little bit and lower his front half and stick his butt in, in the air. We're gonna tell? Wait, what? So, what's your name? Oh, I forgot. Dogs can talk. Oh, come on. You have to have a name. Hmm. How about Max? Oh. <laughs> Not Max, huh? Hmm. How about Snack? Okay, nice to meet you, Snack. The dogs get and get up and start to bond to the wood. Hey, where are you going? She stops and turns to face me. Do you want me to follow you? He starts to run around in a circle if he was, if uh, as if he was chasing his tail. I'll take that as a yes. Standing up and follow Snack into the woods, the smell of warm pine tree pi and trees tickle my nose. For now, I have to be careful where I where I place my feet. There are some rocks and thorns bushes scattered around, and I don't want to step on them. Where are you taking me, Snack? I've been following Snack for a while and still don't have clue to uh, as to where he is talking, taking me to. What's that sound? Sn uh, Snack goes in front of some bushes and stuff and stare back at me. I walk over to him and crouch just behind him to peer through the bushes. Okay. This is Japan! Uh, as I make my way through the bushes, I notice a big street. There's some people passing by to uh. There's people here. Okay. It's reassuring to see other people, but as I look down on myself, I notice something uh, an Ari. I need some clothes. Yep. My canine companion looks li like he is getting a little impatient with me. Snack happy snuggle up to me as I scratch the back of his ears. Peering through the bushes and that's when I noticed that there was a building with some type of clothing across the street from me. It's dark in there and there seems to be no one no one inside. The sign above the door reads Sam and Sons Hardware. What? If there is no people outside maybe I can can get to the building without being seen by anyone. <laughs> With stealth I look to my left and then to my right. There's almost no one out right now. If I can just wait a little bit longer. Snack sprang up and ran across the street all to an alleyway beside the building. Snack, where are you going? Wait for me. Running after him, he leads me back to to a back door to the hardware store. Snack sat and wag and wag his tail and tri triumphantly. Good find, Snack. He's a, he's such a smart dog. I lightly turn the door handle and. Open it and easily. At first, I quietly enter the store, but then Snack barge past me, making himself right at home. Hello, is anyone there? Nobody responded, so I closed the door behind me and made my way deeper into the dark store. It must be safe. The store's floor were wooden, and the creak and cracks as I made my way slowly to the front. The storefront stood a whole collection of tools. Gadgets, some clothes, and hardware. Wow! Look at all these neat things, Snack! Continue, I walk over to the clothing section of the store. Hmm, I'm not sure what to wear. Okay, not bad. <laughs> Turning into Snacks, I show him one of the shirts from the wall's rack. What do you think about this, Snack? Yay! No? Soon I showed him another garment. What about this one? Yay! Not this one either, huh? Then I saw a white shirt with a brown trimming 
and gold buttons from the straps. How about this one? Yeah, I like it too. I eagerly put this shirt on. A perfect fit, wouldn't you agree? There's a sign that reads every shirt purchase come with a free sweatshirt. I like this red little sweatshirt, don't you, Snack? Snack just sat there and wagged his tail. I'll take that as a yes. But it's too hot out to wear a sweatshirt, so I'll just wear it around my waist. I, <laughs> I continued to look around the store and found some brown chaps to go with, a with my new shirt. The dog in Tan's gaze seems to be a sign of his quiet approval. Well, it looks like I have all the important bases covered. Oh, those are some cute goggles. While I tried them on, I found that there was a perfect fit. I also noticed some handkerchiefs on the shelf next, next to me. Do you like handkerchiefs, Snack? Me too. Hmm, but there are only two left. This red one and a brown one. Which one do you want? I offer both handkerchiefs to Snag and he nuzzled my hand with a red handkerchief. Alright, hold still. While putting the red handkerchief around his neck, I stood back to get a better look at him. At him. There, now you have a collar. He just sat there painting, <laughs> panting and waggling his tail exci excitingly. I then put the other handkerchief around my neck. Bad for taking all this stuff. I know. I'll just have to repay them back somehow. Come on, snack. Let's go. I went back to the rear door and left the store. I guess it's time to move on. Okay, so far I haven't said anything besides reading the text. But my question is, why did this they pick this voice for Lily? Because. I didn't. I didn't think this would be her voice for her. Even though this is only a fan made thing, but whatever. There are choices. All the beauty and warmth around me is so foreign. But this place is all mine to explore. So I'm sure in time I find my place in the world too. Uh, end of chapter. Double click to continue. Okay, so there's more. Chapter 1, how everything started. Okay. Stop it, you perv. <laughs> oh god. Huh? I turned my head to face my alarm clock. Ah, it's noble. Huh? 6 a.m.? Already I only set it for 4 hours. Oh, wow, that's cool. I, learned I leaned over to turn off my alarm before lying on my back and looking at the ceiling, the sun backs and backs my entire room in a warm glow. My name is Noble and, I'm a <laughs> and I am a grown, grown ass man who makes li a living by playing video games, looking at breasts <laughs> and uploading it to my, to, to my tube. I look what I, I do, <laughs> I like what I do and people like what I do. It's a real win in my book. The sun is getting into my still sleepy eyes broke, provoking me and to get moving. Well, nature call. Nature's calling. Getting up from my bed, I walked to my to my bathroom to get the job done. After I took it took care of a bit of business, my stomach started rumbling. What should I what should I have for breakfast? I went to my kitchen and opened the, up the fridge. There's nothing. Yay! Okay, why would you change there's nothing in the refrigerator? Shoot, I, re uh, I really need to get sh and go shopping. How long have I been stuck in this house for? Since it's been about a week now. What am I, some sort of shut-in? Okay. <laughs> and gradually I walked back to my room and got dressed in a nice pair of blue jeans and a trusty old button shirt. And prepared and hungry, I walk outside into the bright world. Okay, should I take the car? Nah, it's such a beautiful day, and the store is not that far. Besides, my legs need to at least uh, at least some exercise too. I just need to be uh, driftly and not carry too much. 
Ready to embrace the, the day, I closed and locked the door behind me and settled for the door. At the store, I was able to buy a few bags worth of essential bread, milk, cereal, sandwich meat, and some noodles in a cup. That'll be $35. Here you go. Thanks you, here's your receipt. Have a nice day. That's a cashier. She's hot. Man, it's going to be a pain carrying all these groceries. Oh well, no use complaining of nobody forcing me to go walking. Okay, so when is he gonna meet Lily? As I walk along the sidewalk, I gave a thanks to who to whoever decided to plant trees along the street. If it wasn't for them, there wouldn't be any shade. After a walking considerable amount of time, I noticed that there's a dog just sitting and starting staring up at a, at a tree. Huh? That's a cute dog. Don't be afraid. Okay, I'm not afraid of disembodied voices. I Whoa! A girl fell out of a tree just a few feet in front of me. She was saved by a tree branch that was holding her a couple of feet of the ground. Well, she must be a cosplayer because she is wearing a pair of uh, wolf ears and tail. She's a, she's a pretty cute. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Where, where have I heard that voice though? I mean, whatever. Okay, let's continue. Here, he let me help you down. I set the grocery bags on the ground and went over to help the girl. Thanks. What were you doing up there? Well, there was this kitten, huh? And she started to look around fr uh, frantically. What? Where's the kitten? Just as, as soon as she said something, a little furry and head poked off her cleavage. Wobbles, <laughs> boobs for the win. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a um, have to pick you up to get you unstuck. Do you mind? It's okay. Just please get me down. I put my hands around her waist and pick her up just enough to, uh, to ease her fall. And her figure is so slender, and it's not a surprise. She's already really. She is also really light. Finally, the ground. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome, girl. By the way, my name is Noble. Okay. My name is Lily. Nice to meet ya. The girl stuck uh, stuck her little hands out and took at it and gave it a shake. Nice to meet you, Lily. She takes the kitten was riding pretty comfortably up to this point and. <laughs> Put it on the ground and it's happily scampers away to a bigger cat that, has, that I assume is his mother. Oh, sorry, I forgot. That little guy here is Snack. Nice to meet you, Snack. I patted the dog's head and he wagged his, li his little tail. So, Lily, are you into cosplay? Huh? Cosplay? <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm talking about your ears and tail. What about my ears and tail? Is there con a, a convention nearby? I don't know. Then why are you wearing uh, fake ears and tail? Fake? My ears and tail are real. She looks genuinely confused as she is for real. She can't possibly believe her ears and tails are real. I mean, they look real. They look real, and they also move realistically. I need to get those. And uh, those might make a good, a good skit on the channel. So where do you get uh, get them from? As she pouted, I, I realized that her tail fluffed up. We don't have anything that can do that. Wait, so you're a spirit, like a fox spirit? Yeah, really, really. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't believe it's a real fox girl. It's like the visual model I wasted, <laughs> I waste time on. But I can't deny what it and uh, what's in front of me. She's still a little pouty from when I didn't believe her. I'm sorry, I thought you were some sort of cosplayer or something. Well, now do you believe me? I guess so, so what brings you see and what brings you here? Okay. Huh? What do you mean? 
Like, why Why are you here? I thought Spare doesn't then exist. I am not sure. All I remember is that my mama brought me here and told me to go find some human that I need to help out. Wait, so you, you don't have a home? I had one. Until I was brought here. What should I do? Is this about... <laughs> If this was a visual novel, the obvious, the obvious choice would be to invite her to stay at my place, but again, this is real life. If she were to stay at my place, and the place utility bills would go up, and it's not like she has a job. If I turn her down, who knows what will happen to her. Someone may try to harm her, or worse, plus she doesn't, have, she doesn't even have a place to go. Things could go badly for her. Hmm. With all of the choices in front of me, the only correct one is... Will you look to stay at my place? Huh? Really? Yeah, it's not like you have a place to go and I can't just let you stay out here all by yourself. Can Snack come too? I look at the excited girl and it's hard to say no. Yeah, sure, Snack can... <laughs> sure, Snack can come too. <laughs> Really, the voice just doesn't doesn't go well. Lily practically glances me, causing me to stagger back a little. I can feel her breast. <laughs> Once she let me go, I pick up the grocery bag and started walking back home. Oh, let me help you. Lily takes a bag that I was carrying on my right hand and walks beside me. Snack quite and uh, quickly follows behind us. Okay. Okay. So far, I haven't left as left as at much as I was expecting. And will Lily fit in her new house? Oh wait, is it, is it, is it the end? Will happiness be part of their lives? Who sent Lily to Earth and why? All of these answers and more spicy scenes will be on the full version, coming September 2016. Wait, this month? Okay. Oh cool, so that's pretty much it. I was about to like stop recording right, right, around, right around 20 minutes, but apparently this is the end. Mm, kind of interesting, but I'm not gonna criticize the art. It's, it's, it's okay, my opinion. But the voice, mm, I don't know. It sounds like a little girl's voice. Not sure why. Oh well, whatever. So guys, I hope you enjoy this. It's only a fan game, and give it a try if you want. I'm gonna leave the description down below. And, and if you guys are curious about the guy, the guy that I told you about, Noble, his channel is is called Lost Paws. He's a really funny guy, and he really loves anime. I mostly watch his videos to have just just to have a laugh, but whatever, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh crap! Let's, oh, oh crap! I can't kill. I've been enclosed, baby. <laughs> okay. There's a time. Oh shoot! Oh my God! You're fake. You go poof. Yeah, don't laugh, Nomi. I don't even like you. <laughs>